Hello and welcome to a CISSP micromodule. When talking about biometrics, you need to know the difference between false rejection rate and false acceptance rate. You also need to know what a crossover error rate is. These are concepts that serve to make biometric authentications more secure. Let's start with the false rejection rate, also known as FRR. This is a type 1 error, which means the correct person was rejected. To memorize this, think of R's in the phrase right person rejected. So again, the double R, right one rejected. The false acceptance rate is the FAR. This is a type 2 error, and this means the wrong person was accepted. Here's an example. If you own an iPhone, it has a fingerprint biometric authentication system. If you get a cut, or you get flaky, dry skin, the system is going to reject you. That's a type 1 error. This could mean that the setting is too sensitive. On the other hand, if most people can use their fingerprint to get in, the setting is not sensitive enough. This would be a type 2 error. Where the false rejection rate and the false acceptance rates intersect, this is known as the crossover error rate. This is where you want the biometric system to be. Once again, when the FRR and the FAR are equal, this is the goal for rejection and acceptance rates. Here's a tip to remember the FRR as type 1 and the FAR as type 2. You may see them as their words or you may see them by number. Remember that the number 2 is farther from 0 than the number 1. Once again, thank you for watching. Please leave any comments, questions, or corrections in the comment box below. Have a great day.